Long ago, before the Ruination ended their line, the royal family of Camivore revered Imperial dragons as powerful and majestic creatures. So as one of the few Imperial dragons still alive today, Smolder is kind of a big deal. Or he will be, at least, as soon as he masters flying, and breathing fire, and being big, and, and scary. You know, dragon stuff. Sizzle. The Fiery Fledgling is an ADC who's all about scale. He may seem like a tiny spark at first, but he can grow into a late-game inferno. So, are you ready to play with fire? Welcome to the Smolder Champion Spotlight. Go Smolder! Go Smolder! Smolder's passive is Dragon Practice. Whenever he hits a champion with an ability or kills a target with Q, he learns a bit more about dragoning and gains a stack. Each stack increases the damage of his basic abilities, making them extra spicy as he gets more practice. This means Smolder gets stronger and stronger as the game goes on, so let him cook. Q is Smolder's Super Scorcher Breath. He spits the biggest, awesomest fireball he can muster at his target. Okay, so maybe it's not that impressive yet, but you just wait. <laughs> you started it! As Smolder gains more stacks of his passive, he enhances Super Scorcher Breath in three tiers. At tier one, it deals AoE damage around the target. At tier two, more explosions shoot off behind the initial fireball. And at tier three, the flame burns targets for additional true damage over a few seconds. If they drop below a certain health threshold in that time, they're toast. Don't forget that Smolder gains stacks whenever he hits enemy champs with abilities or kills a unit with Q. Focus on last hitting and poking opponents with Q so he reaches those stack tiers as quickly as possible. By the time late game rolls around, he'll be a teamfight terror with tons of AoE damage. Breathing fire isn't without its challenges though, like all that soot in your nose. With W, Smolder sneezes out a fiery glob. This blast damages and briefly slows targets and explodes around any champions in the line of fire. And you thought your allergies were bad. <laughs> During landing phase, a chew is a crucial farming tool for Smolder. He can use it to soften up a wave, then last hit with Q for all the stacks. In team fights, it's a powerful AoE spell. Hitting multiple champion sets up explosions around each one, which scale with his passive and ability rank. That late game damage is nothing to sneeze at. Don't you just love his little wings? Well, they aren't just for princely charm. Smolder's E, flap, 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 sends him into the air for a short duration where he ignores terrain and gains move speed and vision. He'll bombard the closest enemy in range with bursts of flame, prioritizing the lowest health champion. Smolder's E can help him catch fleeing enemies and secure kills, but it's also his only escape tool. So fly with caution, or you may crash and burn. What did I do? Behind every adorable baby dragon is a super protective mama dragon. Smolder's ult summons mom to teach a lesson to any meanies picking on her son. A face-melting, scorched earth kind of lesson. After casting, Smolder's mom flies overhead, breathing down a wave of fire and burning enemies to a crisp. Targets caught in the center take extra damage and are slow. The wave starts a little bit behind Smolder's position and continues over a long distance. Anyone who might be hit by the flames will hear mom's roar as a warning, so best run for cover if you can. Nothing burns quite like a mother's love. While the spell can help Smolder disengage if he's in a bad spot, his mom is best at starting fires, I mean fights especially if the enemy team is grouped up. Slow them down with the center of Smolder's ult, then go full blast with the rest of his AoE damage. Smolder's dragon practice stacks are the fuel for turning this glowing ember into a roaring blaze. He needs to farm safely in the early game to stack his passive and improve his Q before he's ready to take on the world. That means he'll need a more lane dominant support, looking out for him while he grows big and strong. Champions who can zone opponents off will make great lane partners for this widow kiddo. On the other hand, he may struggle against lane bullies who can force him to retreat and lose out on stats. Without much dragon practice, his ability to trade is limited, so enemies with lots of poke and engage tools are blistering counterfeits against Smolder. Where he really burns brightest is team fighting. Thanks to his powerful AoE damage, roasting grouped up enemies is his specialty. But like most ADCs, he needs to position wisely to stay safe. Fly in solo, and you might just fizzle out. Smolder is designed to be a simpler marksman with an approachable kit. So if you've been looking for a reason to learn ADC, who burns hotter than ADC, consider this a warm invitation to try the Fiery Fledgling. Likewise, if you enjoy marksmen with their own escape tools like Ezreal or Zeri, or adorable forces of destruction like Tristana and Kog'Maw, you may want to take Smolder for a test flight. And of course, if you love getting stacks on stacks on stacks, looking at you Vagar and Nasus fans, then this scaling damage should be just what you're looking for. Whew, is it toasty in here or just me? I gotta go cool off. Learn how to train your dragon at the links below. And bring the heat with Smolder, the fiery fledgling.